morning guys welcome to the 16th of may we are currently walking through the hospital grounds now on the way to the scan so fingers crossed everything's all right but uh the appointment's in about 10 minutes so here we go so i've had the scan guys all seemed well it was just that the baby was really really crunched up in like a really awkward position so she's been a little bugalugs. <laughs> so basically they could see the majority of things and they said that everything that they can see looks fine. And she could see like the heart and the four chambers, but the vessels like going in and out, they have to check and stuff like that. So they couldn't see that purely down to the position. So she said the with the chambers looking good, it looks like everything, you know, there's nothing untoward um, and it rules out a lot of things. But I suppose they just can't say, yes, everything's absolutely fine until they check it. So I've got to be booked, I'm booked in again for the 2nd of June because hopefully she will have moved around. We tried loads of different positions and she just wasn't shifting. So it's just one of those things, unfortunately, but it's just a bit like, although I know I think everything's okay it just puts the jitters in you anyway because you just like well it's like you expect to come out of there like oh thank god you know it's all all fine and you know everything's great um and it's just like to know you've got to go back for a second scan is just a bit like oh god I really hope everything's okay <laughs> so I've just got another couple of weeks to wait so at least it's not too bad um and as I say you know it's quite nice that we're going to be able to go and have another one and she was um she had like uh well they didn't do any photos because obviously she was really really scrunched up the only one we could get would be of a spine and we got that at the last scan so we got this one because it was a bit different and i know you can't really see much but i just really really liked it <laughs> so it's this one but that's a little nose and a mouth just poking out and i just think that's so cute like me and ed were just like oh that's adorable so I know it's like a bit of a rubbishy photo, but like you, you can't really see the faces on ultrasound very much. And then when I saw that just poking out, I thought it was really, really sweet. So um, we got that one and they didn't charge us for it because obviously it's only little. So yeah, it's just basically a case of going back um, and hopefully, uh, you know, I just want my mind at ease now, uh, at ease now. you know, it's, although I know, I know everything's pretty much okay and I had really worked myself up for this scan because I don't know why, but I just convinced myself that there was something up because their movements are so, um, like, intermittent, but my placenta is really um, high and up the front wall, so I think that they call that an anterior placenta, which is nothing to worry about, but it's just, like, because of where it's positioned, that obviously I'm not, not going to feel as much because it's at the front of my belly. And then the baby, her back was actually to the placenta, so all of her movements are going inwards, so there's no wonder I haven't felt um, a lot. But when she's, she's right down low... Um, like her legs and that right down low so i can feel like when she's awake i can feel like little rumbles and flutters real really low um so it, it does make sense and i just can't believe like you know from the beginning where they only had to move the ultra the scanner like handheld thing they use they only had to move that like a little bit and now she's having to go right across my belly to see the head right back over to the bottom of the legs and all you know it's just it just shows you how big she's getting so it's really really weird but she said everything's growing absolutely perfectly um which is really good and i'm you know a big weight off but i'll just feel a hundred percent once we've had this scan and hopefully the same thing doesn't happen again i suppose if she's grown a bit more she might stretch out a little bit more as well so fingers crossed i'm just waiting outside one of our offices now ed's got um uh, a family in a range in so i've just i'm just waiting here and then we're going to go and grab a bit of lunch and then I've, uh, Buzzy's going to the vet, so we've got his appointment, I was at 2.15, but we moved it to 4.15, because I didn't think we'd make it back from here. So, yeah, we're just, basically, I'm just waiting for Ed in the car now. We're going to the doctor's meeting. <laughs> so we've got the woofer in the car now. There he is. And we're just taking him to the vets to check his paw out, and also his ears, because I think his ear ears irritating him as well. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get it sorted, and they'll be able to see if there is anything in there, so... Buzz? <laughs> That's naughty! Buzz! <laughs> you can't do that when mommy's driving. You need to get back in the boot. That's naughty. <laughs> he would actually sit there as well if he got off the jam. <laughs> oh, that's 
so he's got his legs cute. on the top. <laughs> what are you doing? You he drives it. He wants to stand there. Oh. Look at his both paws. <laughs> Naughty boy. You're such a good boy, aren't you? Poor old soldier bear. So it's much lighter on now and Buzz is feeling a little bit sorry for himself, bless him. He's um just down there. <laughs> so he's got like a lot of different treatments now. Like we've got a couple of different things because it turns out he's got an ear infection as well because I'd, I, I'd noticed him scratching his ears um, and he'd already had one of these before. So I kind of know the signs. So I got her to check that as well. So turns out he's got a bit of one of them as well. So it cost us a pretty penny today. Bless him. So I've also I thought we might as well do it all in one go. So got the um what's it? What's this? Flea stuff. Um also the worming stuff. Worming stuff. Um also what's this? This is an anti-inflammatory. They don't particularly know exactly what's wrong with his foot. Um, he's licking two paws now, which is just like really difficult because it's hard to distinguish what it is. Um, she said he's irritated on one bit when she presses um, like his very, very end toe. Um, it's like she was like, don't know whether it could be a very minor dislocation, which he feels like he might be making better by licking it where it's just causing him actual like a skin inflammation as well so it's kind of really difficult but he's like he's, he doesn't walk on it like he doesn't limp on it completely um it's like it's weird i don't really know like it, but he's just constantly licking one of the front and one of the back paws so i've got to kind of treat both so i've also got some shampoo to put on it to hopefully help stop the inflammation um, and then also i have got some of this stuff which is ear drops for his ears as well so try and clear that up so he's one poor little pupski but at least it's nothing major and hopefully we'll get him sorted so ed's gone to get some dinner i am doing some tomato soup because that's really exciting the kitchen is still bedlam from yesterday we have because we've been out all day with the dog and scan and everything I haven't had a chance to clear it all up yet. I've put one load in the dishwasher because we literally must have used every single utensil <laughs> that we own. <laughs> so I'm just like slowly getting it all in the dishwasher. I've also written a blog post today which is now up. So you can check that out. The links are below. If you want to, it's just basically an introduction back into blogging. Um, so nothing really that you haven't, that you don't know already. But I didn't want to just come out and post something um random when like you know i just wanted to ease myself back into it so i'm hoping that'll be one of three this week so guys that is it for today i hope you've all had a good monday and a good start to the week again so not too long till the next weekend now <laughs> four days to go so i am just going to go at, well i'm going to get my video up from the weekend which i'm sorry isn't a great one and the two emerged because it's just because um I wasn't feeling too good but I felt a lot better today. So guys I'm gonna go tomorrow I'm gonna go tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. I will see you tomorrow. My baby brain is totally mashed. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Bye! <laughs>